Fuel City. It's a gas station with cheap gas and easy freeway access in the middle of downtown Dallas. Last year, sales reached $25 million. What? How? We'll have eight or ten people here at night making tacos. Karaoke is in front of the palm tree. It's on the weekends. We've got a swimming pool, which is a lot of fun. We have a dinosaur. You might call it a truck stop, but owner John Bindo won't. I say it's some place where dreams come true, Fuel City. This is our strangest success yet. I love to work. I worked in department stores, was a lifeguard, was a substitute teacher, interviewed to be Bozo the Clown in South Texas when I was going to college. This serial entrepreneur started Fuel City in his late 40s. I was doing jury duty down the street and during lunch break I found this spot. This spot is eight acres where in 1999 Binda hoped to recreate his childhood ranch. I wanted a way to enjoy a ranch but have it in the city and let people see what Dallas looked like before it was a city. And when I got started in, in 99, it was real hard to sell it to a bank because I, when I showed them the swimming pool, they said, a swimming pool at a convenience store? I said, no, 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 it'll be cool. People want to come. The store cost four and a half million. I borrowed three and a half million. I put up a million dollars to buy the land and do finances. I had to put a second mortgage on my house. And then it was such a phenomenon. When I opened up, I thought nobody's gonna come. One idea that didn't last was paying girls in bikinis to sit by the swimming pool. I paid a minimum wage. That was an easy job. A girl gets to lay out in the sun and tan. His daughters eventually nixed that idea. Nearly everything else has been a hit. How many tacos do you sell a day? A lot. <laughs> I had a graph on the wall and I would graph my bank balance every day. And if I was going up, I was making it. If I was going down, I wasn't going to make it. 17 years later, Binda has expanded to two fuel cities, which did $39 million in sales last year, 80% from fuel. Two more are planned, even as Binda keeps testing what you might call city limits. We've had uh, White Buffalo, got a ticket from the city because they said you can't have buffalo in downtown Dallas, zebras and camels, and got in trouble for that and had to take them out. I'm thinking about putting in kangaroos. I think in the next five years I'll have a couple of giraffes. Wouldn't that be cool? The rest of this 65-year-old's bucket list isn't nearly so strange. I have goals in increasing my net worth. That's probably my number one thing. Two? $70 million by 70. How much are you making? How much am I making? A lot. <laughs> hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.